click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends welcome to ekida after learning the basic concepts of graph theory and basic terminologies we will head to problem number 1 of graph theory so let us see it so here you can see the question says for the circuit shown draw its graph draw its tree and write fundamental cut set matrix so let's start one by one and let's solve it one by one so how to draw graph of this already we have been provided with nodes so this is node 1 node 2 node 3 and node 4 or you can call it a b c d and you can see when you convert this into a graph this current branch will not be in picture because we open circuit all the current branches or all the current sources then these elements resistance inductor capacitor they are represented by simple line segment so here there just will be a line connecting from suppose node a and node b let's give name a so from a to b there will be simple one line b to c one line a to c one line c to d and a to d so here you can see i have drawn a graph b and d we will check it with the original circuit b and d this resistance just represented by a line segment b and d here then between c and d also there is line segment let us see in diagram what it is so here you can see between c and d these elements and so on between a and d also one line segment will be there and between a and c also there is one line segment this current source is not going to be in picture of course directions are what we can take so we will assume the directions so here we are done with the graph now next question is to get the tree now it's very easy because it is a b c d only four nodes this is our graph so the tree will be simply a b c and d so tree has a rule to draw the tree you must get all the nodes into account so they should be present but not all branches and no loop should be formed so we'll return the directions so this is our tree now next question is to get cut set matrix or fundamental cut set matrix so for that along with this tree we'll draw the links because these are the twigs 2 4 and 5 are twigs so remaining are links that means 1 3 6 so 1 3 and 6 which are not present here 1 here 3 and here 6 it is not present so we have to show it by dotted line so here along with this tree a b c and d the four nodes and 2 4 and 5 the basic branches or we can call it as twigs with dotted lines i have shown links the reason is i have to draw fundamental cut set matrix so obviously here 
there will be a cut set matrix at this point A or node A, which will be cut set 2, then cut set 5, and cut set 4. If you refer to cut set matrix video, the same, almost same diagram and same cut set matrix has been achieved. So, this will be just a repetition, but still, we will get the answer for this. So, cut set matrix, which is a fundamental cut set matrix, is shown by QF. Here we write cut sets. So, first cut set will be cut set 2, then will be cut set 5, then will be cut set, or you can take 4 also, but we can write it. And here there will be branches. And as we know, for this cut set 2, we relate all the branches. Now, this 2 is outgoing or going away from this particular node, oriented away from this node A. 1 is coming towards node A. So, for branch 1, it is going to be minus 1 because this nature is against the nature of this main branch. Here, going away is called as positive, but I am coming at this node A. So, it will be called as negative. Branch number 3 is also going away. So, it will be called as positive rest will be zero. This was all about cut set 2. Now I am going to talk about cut set 5. For this cut set 5, coming towards this node should be considered as positive. So, 6 is coming. So, it is considered as positive. So, 6 should be 1. Then 1 is going away. So, it is negative and 5 already it will be positive, rest will be 0. And for cut set 4, this is how I am going to cut so that my diagram is divided into two parts, this node C at one part, node A, B, D at another part. And here if I write, so for this cut set 4 going away from, you can see the direction is like this, going away from node C should be considered as positive. So, this is considered positive. 3 is coming towards node which is exactly against. See, this is going away. So, going away is positive. 3 is coming. So, 3 is negative. And this 6 is going away positive. Rest will be 0. So, I have got the matrix. So, if I write it in matrix form, I will write as QF in matrix minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 and so on. Now, in general, it's not required, but because this 4 comes before 5, 2, 4, 5, I can, I will write this row here in between. And then minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And this completes my cut set matrix for given problem. So, thank you very much guys for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.